In this video we present a case of a very dense cataract resulting from blunt eye trauma many years ago. The patient presented with hand motion vision, and a non-dilating pupil with posterior synechia. Phaco emulsification surgery was proposed, and as we will see with a modern phaco machine and a step-by-step -step approach, such cases are successfully managed. After tinting the capsule with tripan blue, a cohesive OVD is used to expand the pupil carefully aiming to inject underneath it, in order to release the posterior synechiae. There is a clear and significant extension of a trophic iris, which indicates that the small pupillary area will not be maintained during surgery, therefore iris retraction hooks will be placed. Usually about four of these hooks are used in order to create a somewhat square-shaped pupillary opening. Now it is time for the capsulorexis step. Notice that this being a case with history of unevaluated old trauma, there was no way of knowing if the zonules were preserved and with such a dense nucleus there is a possibility of rexis run out to the periphery, so frequent OVD filling and smaller advances are advised. As we approach the inferonasal quadrant the rexis flap is very difficult to observe even with tripan blue. A tearing motion is employed pulling towards the center to contain the possibility of run out. However the flap margin is difficult to ascertain so tripan blue is again injected, aiming to paint that area of the capsule. Visualization improved, and it is clear the rex's flap is already running underneath the iris, so more OVD is necessary to flatten the flap and pulling it towards the center. Finally around and continuous rexes is complete. Now we advance to hydro dissection with VSS injected in a controlled manner in the four quadrants. Phaco emulsification is now commenced, and in these very dense cataracts it is wise to use the very reliable stop and chop technique beginning with sculpting a very deep trench, typically aiming at about one and a half phaco needle width and two to three phaco needles depth. The surgeon may then opt to mechanically divide this trench as shown here or even attempt to chop at the extremity of the trench. A successful split is achieved, now using high vacuum the hemi flip technique can be used to bring the hemi nucleus part.